Today we're going to talk about the business to business exemption from the new AB5 rule that has been implemented in California. Quick recap, there was a case that went up to the California Supreme Court uh, by the name of Dynamex or Dynamics, trucking company that got sued by its workers. They thought they should have been employees. They were contracted as independent contractors. Employees won, and as a result, it sort of flipped the entire independent contractor world on its head in California because then the new bill, AB5, that was signed into law in late 2019 in California changed how you evaluate whether or not someone is a contractor or an employee. That's a big difference because employees come with benefits, payroll withholdings, taxes, a lot of expense. Contractors do not. Much more simple arm's length contractual relationship. But this bill, this new law, it is not a blanket application. It's not black and white. In fact, my gripe with the bill is that it is very ambiguous and sort of messy because it has specific exemptions for different types of folks that you would hire. Sometimes that means they have their own new factors that you have to evaluate. Sometimes that means they're evaluated on the old test called Borello, which is an 8 to 11 factor test, but it's easier to satisfy than the new ABC test. So what am I talking about here? Whether or not someone can be your employee or a contractor, and if you are looking to hire a contractor because you can't afford an employee, this is a very important law. Now, one thing that is going to be very contested, it's going to be the biggest area of ambiguity and the biggest focus of lawsuits and legal challenges under AB5 is the business to business contracting relationship. What does that mean? Well, it's obvious if you're talking about a business hiring another business, you know, for instance, if your business hires my law firm, that is business to business, pretty cut and dry and straightforward there, traditional vendor relationship. W9, not 1099. But lawyers also enjoy an exemption under AB5, so that one's a very clear-cut example. Not so clear-cut is situations where maybe you would normally hire a graphic designer to help you provide creative services to your clients. Well, if that graphic designer now is a part of an LLC where there's a few graphic designers and you're hiring the LLC for that graphic designer services, which probably sounds kind of like you're hiring another creative agency to do the work that your creative agency is providing to your client, which that's basically what I'm describing here, and that's kind of one of the things that AB5 might create in our industries, well, that would be a business-to-business -business relationship because you're contracting another business for its employee services. Now, graphic designer has its own exemption, so that might not have been the best example, but you get where I'm going with this. There is now a mindset that essentially you can hire any business and then that falls under this business to business exemption and they don't have to be an employee. So what does that mean? That probably means that a lot of people that normally would be contractors are just gonna create an LLC, call themselves a business, and now they fit the business to business contractor relationship. But as you can tell, that sort of seems like a little way to circumvent this new rule which is why this is going to be so hotly contested. I could even see situations where Uber goes out and says, all of my drivers, you guys need to form a corporation. We will hire your corporation. So now it's business to business. And now all of you can essentially still be independent contractors and drive for us and not get benefits or payroll withholdings or your taxes paid, blah, blah, blah. So this will be an area of contention for sure. But I want to run through some of the new factors now because they wanted to create this exemption for business to business, and instead of just being allowed to use the old test, the Borello test, now it has its own new set of factors that are kind of like the Borello test, but not exactly. So what are a few of the factors that you look at for a business to business contract relationship? Well, one of them is going to be how much control they're under from your instruction, delegation, like how much do you control their work? The less you control it, the better for them being a contractor. Another one is going to be what type of services are they providing you and what type of services do you provide to your customers? That can't be too similar because then you're just hiring someone to do your work and that's kind of what this bill looks to prevent. Another one is going to be, is there a contract in writing between you and that business? Is there going to be a separate business location of that business you're hiring? Do they have an office? All of these things that sort of go to look at how professional or official they are. Do they advertise to the public? Do they provide services to other people like they're providing to you? Do they have 
the ability to negotiate their own rates with you. These are all different factors that go into whether or not they satisfy the business to business exemption, meaning they can be a contractor and they don't have to be your employee. This is not all the factors. And frankly, going through all the factors would just confuse this probably more. The point of this video is to illustrate that there is situations now under AB5 where you can contract with another business and whoever they're working with, whoever they provide to you, whatever services they provide to you, they don't have to be your employee. So again, this is not all the factors. All the factors are not determinative in and of themselves. So with anything AB5 in this new ABC test, the point of these videos, I've got a few of them on this, is to help you understand that this isn't a blanket application. Don't freak out that you can't have independent contractors anymore. There are a lot of exemptions now, and you should speak with a professional on how to evaluate those and figure out whether or not people are or are not contractors so that you can be compliant, make the right decisions, hire people as employees when they are, hire people as contractors when they are, and this specific video is related to the business-to-business -business exemption, which is going to come up time and time again and be a very hot button issue under AB5. So hopefully this was helpful. Contact a professional to make sure you're doing the right thing and you understand these new rules. And hopefully you can still contract who you want and employ who you want. Tune in again. Have a great day. Hope this was helpful.